The Princess of Wales had captured the public's attention not only for her recent state of health, but also for a photo she posted to commemorate Mother's Day, sparking a wave of speculation. The chaos of the last few weeks has meant conspiracy theories about Princess Catherine, and they're now out of control. Critics believe the blame lies squarely with the aides to the Prince and Princess of Wales. After she admitted making several changes to a picture, the palace was plunged into chaos. However, according to palace insiders, they have been rallying around the princess, where an insider has delivered a statement that defended the princess over her Photoshop blunder by insisting she did something 99% of us do and downloaded the PR fiasco as a bump in the road and not an earthquake. Royal correspondent Charles Ray was appalled at the amount of nonsense that's spoken about this photograph. He admitted, It's a great photograph. It was meant to be a Mother's Day photograph. And she took the opportunity to say thanks very much. How many gardening experts out there are complaining about this photograph? Leave the girl alone. She's just doing the best she can. Buckingham Palace previously has been accused of handling the scandal appallingly and failing to protect the Princess of Wales as she recovers from major surgery. Sadly, her mistake in altering Princess William's photo has given conspiracy theorists a field day. Instead of closing down speculation about her health, it has boosted it tenfold. Former BBC correspondent Michael Cole told her PR team was asleep at the wheel, and this has led to extraordinary and groundless conspiracy theories ramping up about the princess, her health, and her whereabouts. Outlandish claims include Catherine using a body double with the support of William, and that she swapped her face with a Vogue cover shot from eight years ago for the ill-fated family photo release on Mothering Sunday. Royal biographer Tim Bauer said of Kate today, She's very ill. She's had a very serious operation, and the palace handled it appallingly. How could these professionals have permitted this crucial image to have been distributed without subjecting it to the most detailed scrutiny? Unfortunately, she bowed to the pressure of social media ghouls and troublemakers and speculators by releasing a photo on Mother's Day. Instead of being protected by the palace and her husband and told, just sit back and don't worry, she thought she'd do the best thing possible and release a lovely photograph. Royal commentator Phil Damfer referred, William did not help. He said it was a personal matter, and it's hard to believe that he couldn't spare the time to go to Windsor Castle for a couple of hours when he lives nearby. He went on, It all adds to the sense of mystery, and at the moment, honesty would probably be the best policy to quell the rumor mill. Expert Jamie Bond explained that pictures have been doctored since the middle of the 19th century, noting specifically that this is a tradition that can be traced from the Victorian times until modern day. Queen Victoria's pictures were sometimes enhanced to make her look younger, and the photographer who took official wedding photos of Edward and Sophie admitted that he had digitally altered one shot because Prince William hadn't looked happy enough. However, the last decade has seen smartphones proliferate society, and these days, everyone has the capacity to take and edit photographs at the end of their fingertips, with this technology widely available. It also meant that people can sometimes more easily spot an edited image than perhaps they once would have done, particularly if there's errors as there were in the recent Mother's Day photograph. When Victoria and Albert became patrons of the Photographic Society in 1853, cameras were only a burgeoning technology, expensive and time-consuming. They were not something that normal people could use with regularity.